Lincoln has got a plan. Please break. <laughs> Yeah, but isn't it the council who are doing it? I can't really see them changing their minds. It's only a bunch of stupid trees anyway. Who cares? Come on, band meeting. Right. Well, I care. And so does Bill, don't you, Bill? Sorry, Regina, but I've got a rehearsal now. Me too. I can't keep Sarah waiting. Yeah, sorry. Look, see you later, yeah? Don't worry. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, great. So we've still got somewhere to sleep tonight, then? Eve. At the lodge, I can open the front door and I'm practically at the grove. It's one of the reasons Mum let me stay with you. To be with my friends? What's she going to say now? We'll find somewhere nearby. Nothing else is going to change. Who's me lucky lady? Yeah, come on, Mr. Lovebites. Ah, oh, so you did sign up. Could you not find a lad either, Angie? It's no sweat bad. I'll just go to the town and no, change it. No, you can't. The place will be heaving and you might get crushed. So come with us? No, um, one of us must always stay on site to deal with um, customer inquiries. And they've got such a knack for things like that. I'll catch you later, eh? eh? Love you. Kitchen. I thought we could split the rent even though my room is going to be a little bit smaller than yours, but you know. Look Matt, I need to know what's going on here. We're all still just mates, aren't we? Yeah, of course, you know, we're just, we're just sharing a flat, uh, doing the music, and like you say, we're not just playing like it, we're doing it properly, 24-7. I don't know, I mean, it's such a big decision, especially moving in with a lad. You want to get out of your parents' place, and I'm sick of being short with the rent, so you won't make sense. I'll think about it, okay? Alright. Can I fix you something neat before you go? <laughs> no, you're alright. See what's on the menu. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's kick off. This band isn't about pretty people who can't write their own name, let alone a song. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. This band isn't about selling t shirts, or posters, or packets of crisps. Cool. Yeah, cool. This band's not about love songs, ego trips, mega deals, award ceremonies. So what is this band about? Well, Sarah, you've got to help. It's not my thing. Fashion sucks. You don't understand. I kind of let her take it back. Because if I do, she'll find out I didn't get it from Lagoon. I got it cheap off the market. Hmm. Well, if you want to go out with a label queen, that's your lookout. Please, Sarah, I'm begging you as a friend. Just take up the hemline and I can say I've changed it. What? Because I'm a lass you think I can sew? Have you ever heard of feminism? Please. All right, but it's a one-off, understand? Thanks, Sarah. 
Meeting adjourned. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Look, Ben, will you have a word with Adam? He's been drinking at the Grove and acting like a complete pillock. You know, like you used to. Oh, cheers. Well, I thought he might listen to you. Adam, man, come here. Your brother's worried about you and so am I. So listen up, okay? You pull yourself together, right? Ah, thanks for the words of wisdom, Grasshopper Ben. Now maybe one day, I too can wash many car. Sorry, Ben. No, look, it's okay. Your brother's dead, right? Because if you carry on behaving like an idiot, Adam, this is where you will end up. Are you sure it's okay to do this? Evie, you've got to stop thinking like one of them. Right. I've had an idea. Here we go. It's a good one. These trees are full of birds, right? So all we'll have to do is find a species that's protected and there won't be a lot to build anywhere near it. Nice one, Jamie. Plus, if any of these trees have got a preservation order on them, then... I don't think they do. Dad would have said. So we'll have to get one put on. But is there enough time? We need to know when those trees are coming down. Well, leave it to me. I'll see what I can find out. Put your hands up and step away from the vehicle. You all right? Sure. I haven't seen you for ages. What are you doing wrong to you? I'm off to the Grove for an interview. Youth leader. Well, assistant. What? I know. There's hope for us all, eh? No, it's just I was thinking about that kind of work myself. How did you get into it? Oh, I've done all sorts. Changed courses, got all the qualifications, got a job down where I was studying, and then I heard about this and I fancied moving back to Newcastle. Right. Nice car, by the way. Looks like you're doing all right for yourself. Ciao. I know it's a bit rough. It's the best I could do. Thanks a million, Sarah. Saved my life. Oh no, Sadie. She thinks I'm in town. I can't go out there. So go around the long way. Good thinking, Miss Monday Penny. Operation Headline, we have a good situation. Watch what you're doing. I'm still paying this off. Spencer, how many times have I told you not to drive like that? You should doubt me, Dad. Don't get much excitement at your age. We're just going to have a look around and see if you like it. It looks haunted to me. Why can't I just hang around with you? I've told you I've got a gig tonight. I'll not let you in. It's not fair. Mum lets us go to work with her. Aye, but she works in a chip shop. That's a bit different. Rod man. <laughs> Right, Mickey? Let's see what we can find. You know Luke and Haley. They're the biker reps who will be taking part on behalf of the kids. Hello, Luke. Haley. Right. Excellent. We'll get started then. Who's first? Look, I just want to say there's no way I would have actually made you eat me underpants. Not without a side salad anyway. <laughs> now come on and get it over with. Tell us the worst. It's no, isn't it? Dan says no. It's okay, you know, I understand if you, obviously. If you let us get a word in, look, I've thought about it, and yeah, I would like to shout it. Shocking town, absolutely rammed. <laughs> and this is the back seat. Maybe we could give it a try sometime, if you like. What do you want? Hi, Brad. Is this for me? Oh, cool. Free edges like so happening. How did you know? Let's just say some people call it what it takes, eh? Ah, oh, nowhere like it, is that? Share. Share? Share! 
Next, we need a name for the band. Right. Let's free associate. You what? Say the next thing that comes into your head. Right. Dead animal. Time ox. Accident. Road safety. Bill. Disease of the soul. Athlete's foot. Bill. Rabies. Dead dog. <sighs> Bill. Bill. That's brilliant. It's sick. Only because people care more about animals than they do about people. Dog death. That's it. See, they're still at uni. Doing really well, of course. And Karen works for a travel company. Weren't you doing a fashion course somewhere? I was, but then I realised I prefer people to clothes. So I started helping out at a school for people with learning difficulties. You're looking well in any way, Cher. Cheers, Matty. You used to be this high. Oh no, look at me standing here, Gavin. I'll be late. Cher, me brother's on the panel. Put a word in for you if you like. Cheers, but I'll not need it. I'll knock him dead. <laughs> Children with special needs. Um, sorry, I'm late. I swear I was never this popular when I was here. Excuse us, Cher. We decided to put Jennifer in first rather than hold everyone up. You'll be going last. So if you could just wait outside. Now, where were we? As I was saying, I don't think you should expect kids to do anything you wouldn't do yourself. Good point. Can you give us an example? Well, there's several. Um, I suppose one would be punctuality. Hey, I don't know. Youth clubs these days. All we had was cracked lino and stacking chairs. What are you hanging around here for? It's not like you. I'm being a good dad. All right, Bradley. You all right, Fraser? <laughs> Long time no see. Um, does Emma still come here? Yeah, I think she's just went along to the club room. Yeah. Look, uh, you'll be all right on your own, won't you? Look, um, I think it'll be best if you wait in reception, yeah? Thanks, David. Some very interesting ideas. Oh, yeah. Stamp collecting club. Where do I sign? So, what did you think of Jennifer then? Well, the craft project she did on placement was excellent. Are you ready, Cher? Sorry. I don't know which one I want. Aye, can he blog, isn't he? Sorry to keep you waiting, and sorry about before. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Cher. And for those of you who do, I deny everything. Only joking. Sure. Sit down. So, why don't you start by telling us what you've been up to since you left the Grove? Well, I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar while I was at college. Got engaged to the manager, Mr. Harrison. Bit of a mistake there. Only lasted a few months. Then I went a bit wild. Sure. What? I think Leslie meant, what qualifications or relevant work experience have you gained since leaving the Grove? Oh, I see. What's your game, eh? Just showing me a little lad round. I thought I'd look you up while I was here. Well, now you have. I always knew you'd do well, Emma. Is that why you dropped her? And you know, she only found out because she's seen somebody else's name on a poster. Well, that's history. It's a tough business. We've all moved on since then. Hey, I heard you got checked out by a label. It didn't come off. Uh, never mind. You'll get there. So how's the world of cheesy nightclubs, Fraser, eh? Very busy, as a matter of fact. Club bookings have gone through the roof. It's ever since uh, Pop Idol and Fame Academy. Seems if you're young, pretty, do a decent cover, you're made. Nah, sorry. We're not really into jumping on the bandwagons. We do our own stuff. So if you fancy a night or two's work, sure I can sort something out. You know me number. I need Nas Wayne and stick it. Me nan used to say, bullies are just cowards. If one hits you, hit him back, eh? You're advocating violence? Eh, uh, no, of course not. Oh, no! So what, 
is it with boys and cars? Don't know what you mean. You're just big kids playing with your toys. Well, I've had to go for a spin then. Spencer! Say no with Mickey. I thought it was with you. Flaming kid. So, anything else you want to tell us? Any other reasons why we should give you this job? Well, um... Where's my lad? Excuse me? I thought this place was supervised. If you have lost him, he can't have got very far. We are in the middle of an interview here. Oh, and that's more important than a missing kid, is it? What if he's had an accident? Okay. I'll come and give you a hand. Hey, Kelly, I've been waiting to talk to you. You knew I was interested in youth work. Why didn't you let me know about the job? Ben, now is not the time. We advertise in the usual way. Everyone was welcome to apply. Okay, well, I'd like to apply now, Kelly, then. there's some kids stuck up a tree. I'm sorry, Ben. We've selected the candidates. It's too late. I'm sorry. Where? It's Ben, right? I remember you. I didn't realise you were interested in youth work. Doing up there? Hey, look! Of course I'm not. You want us to get a Kelly? Oh no, I did do that. Oh, he's embarrassed because he got himself stuck up a tree. I'm not stuck. Okay. There he is, little monkey. He's always climbing trees. Serves you right, knucklehead. Could you leave it to me, Mickey? Don't move. Don't take any risks. We'll get you down safely. Mickey, I'm going to talk you through this. You can make it. I know you can. What is he now? A human guinea pig. What's the idea? I'm trying to raise his self-esteem so he can make the journey by himself. No, you're not. What? If he fell, we'd be responsible. But if you believe in empowerment... Right. I'm getting the fire brigade. Excuse? Cher! No! At least she's doing something about it. Go on, Pet. I just feel so useless, you know. Well, I wouldn't give up on it, Ben. I think you're right. You might well have something to offer. Oh, yeah, like a criminal record. You wouldn't be the only person in youth work who's been in trouble. I wouldn't necessarily hold it against you. You wouldn't? Got it. Come on, Mickey. Don't be scared. Come on. What's wrong? They'll say I've been crying. Come here. I won't tell anyone. Give me your hand. Don't look down. Sit. As you probably heard, Tina's on long-term sick. We don't even know if she's coming back. I'm doing all I can to cover up the burn, but there's no doubt we could do with a bit more manpower. I'm there. I'll be going straight to the burn after this. Have a think about it. And if you're still interested, why don't you come with me and see for yourself? Great. Thanks, Leslie. Right, you little terror. Let's get you home. And don't forget your membership form. Right, so. Thanks a million, Pet. No problem. You were so brave. Come on, Achille, man. You'll have to give her the job now. Uh, it doesn't work that way, I'm afraid. She needs to pass the interview. But what's more important? What she says in there, what she does out here in real life. Well, technically, we never even actually finished Cher's interview. You're quite right. Cher, we're going to complete your interview. And this time, don't be late. having a new skirt you really like is. You always want a new top to go with it. Leave it to me. Oh Brad, you know I'd still love you if you didn't have any money. You would? Well, maybe not quite as much. I can't wait much longer. Who's me dear? Alright, stop me. Just wait outside for a second. Look babes, couldn't keep them at bay for us. Of course. And just think, they could be as happy as us. I think I would make a good youth leader because
Well, since giving up on fashion, I've done all of the training, got some youth work qualifications, and some valuable work experience working with kids from a variety of backgrounds. And, sorry, I can't do this. You were doing really well. That was much better. But it wasn't me. And it wasn't why I wanted the job. I love this place. Coming here was the best thing that ever happened to me. I wouldn't be in this interview now if it wasn't for the stuff I've learned here. About friendship and teamwork and thinking for yourself. And if I can help the kids learn as half as much as I did, then, oh, I don't know. I just saw the advert and it was like the call of the wild. E.T. come home. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Love's Love Computer has selected as follows. Adam, Leanne. What? Angeli, your date is Luke. And Sarah, you're with Robert and Jamie. We have to double up. Hang on a minute. Are you pet? You've got to be joking. Well, I think I want my money back. Me too. All right, cough up. Uh, what about my date? Well, sorry, Stumpy, but you're just, well, not normal. <laughs> but... Look, have an extra ticket. Bring a hamster. <laughs> I got it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. What's he doing here? It's all right. I asked him to drop by. More gross scum. Look, Ben. On second thoughts, it's like a minefield in here. The last thing I want to do is create more problems. Oi! You don't hit them like that. You hit them like this. Ah, huh? cheers. Here's the deal. I'll help you get your basic youth work qualification and in return you do your placement here and generally help out. Okay. I saw it in black and white. We've got one week until the trees come down. That's all. I haven't had a chance today, but I'll nip in the library tomorrow, find out about preservation orders. No sign of any endangered species, but I'm keeping an eye out. <laughs> Once those trees come down, that's it. There'll be no turning back. Come on, any other ideas? Well, look, one of the things the council might say is that we're not actually using the land. So, you know, the more we not do... Not just a pretty face, are you? Good thinking. So let's get the allotments, weeded and planted. Use the footy pitch? Yeah, let's start the team again. Oh, hang on. It's all fenced off, isn't it? What will your daddy say? Well, that's up to him, isn't it? He might work for the council, but I don't. This is Ben Carter. He's going to be helping out here. No way. He's Baker. So was Tina. You got used to her. Look, just give us a break, OK? I've been in trouble, most of you know that. But this is a big chance for us. Grove scum. Craig, zip it. Grove scum. Grove scum. Things have changed since I've been away. Lightweight watches. Big ego, big head. I'm sorry. What are you doing skating around here? It's dangerous. We want to be waiting for him to protect. Faithfully, of course. You're not going to catch me doing the sit in. A lion, maybe. Well, I never thought I'd see the day when a bunch of them will burn as I get the better of you. Oh, I'm sure she's taking the mick. You having a pint? Hi. Get home as soon as he can before Lou realizes something's wrong. You're the loser, man! Keep coming! Yeah! He's got a plan. He's biting. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, like what? People are always protesting with the council. Getting things changed. Yeah, but isn't it the council who are doing it? I can't really see them changing their minds. It's only a bunch of stupid trees anyway. Who cares? Come on, band meeting. Right. Well, I care. And so does Bill, don't you, Bill? Sorry, Regina, but I've got a rehearsal now. Me too. I can't keep Sarah waiting. Yeah, sorry. Look, see you later, yeah? Don't worry. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, great. 
So we've still got somewhere to sleep tonight then? Eve? At the lodge, I can open the front door and I'm practically at the Grove. It's one of the reasons Mum let me stay with you. To be with my friends? What's she going to say now? We'll find somewhere nearby. Nothing else is going to change. Find a lad either, Angie. It's no sweat bad. I'll just go to the town and no, change it. No, you can't. The place will be heaving and you might get crushed. Right, Mickey. Let's see what we can find. You know Luke and Haley. They're the biker reps who will be taking part on behalf of the kids. Hello, Luke. Haley. Right. Excellent. We'll get started then. Who's first? Look, I just want to say there's no way I would have actually made you eat me underpants. Not without a side salad anyway. <laughs> Now come on and get it over with. Tell us the worst. It's no, isn't it? Dan says no. It's okay, you know, I understand. If you've obviously. If get a word in, look, I've thought about it, and yeah, I would like to share with you. Shocking town, absolutely rammed. <laughs> and this is the back seat. Maybe we could give it a try sometime, if you like. What do you want? Hi, Brad. Is this for me? Oh, cool. Three edges like so happening. How did you know? Let's just say some people got what it takes, eh? Ah, oh, nowhere like it is that. Share. Share? Share! Next, we need a name for the band. Right. Let's free associate. You what? Say the next thing that comes into your head. Right. Dead animal. Time ox. Accident. Road safety. Bill. Disease of the soul. Athlete's foot. Bill. Rabies. Dead dog. <sighs> Bill. Bill. That's brilliant. It's sick. Only because people care more about animals than they do about people. Dog death. That's it. See, they're still at uni. Doing really well, of course. And Karen works for a travel company. Weren't you doing a fashion course somewhere? I was, but then I realised I prefer people to close. So I started helping out at a school for people with learning difficulties. You're looking well in any way, Cher. Cheers, Matty. You used to be this high. Oh no, look at me standing here, Gavin. I'll be late. Cher, me brother's on the panel. Put a word in for you, if you like. Cheers. But I'll notice. Oh, I've done all sorts. Changed courses, got all the qualifications, got a job down where I was studying, and then I heard about this and I fancied moving back to Newcastle. Right. Nice car, by the way. Looks like you're doing all right for yourself. Ciao. I know it's a bit rough. It's the best I could do. Thanks a million, Sarah. Saved my life. Oh no, Sadie. She thinks I'm in town. I can't go out there. So go around the long way. Good thinking, Miss Wendy Penny. Operation Headline, we have a go situation. Watch what you're doing. I'm still paying this off. Spencer, how many times have I told you not to drive like that? You should doubt me, Dad. Don't get much excitement at your age. Have a look around and see if you like it. Looks haunted to me. Why can't I just hang around with you? I've told you I've got a gig tonight. They'll not let you in. It's not fair. Mum lets us go to work with her. Aye, but she works in a chip shop. That's a bit different. Is it a 
explain. No, it's Broadman. <laughs> Wait outside with the other candidates. Thanks. I'd like to show you around myself, but we've got interviews to do. You don't understand. I kind of let her take it back. Because if I do, she'll find out I didn't get it from Lagoon. I got it cheap off the market. Hmm. Well, if you want to go out with a label queen, that's your lookout. Please, Sarah, I'm begging you as a friend. Just take up the hemline and I can say I've changed it. What? Because I'm a lass, you think I can sew? Have you ever heard of feminism? Please. All right. But it's a one-off, understand? Thanks, Sarah. Meeting adjourned. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Look, Ben, will you have a word with Adam? He's been drinking at the Grove and acting like a complete pillock. You know, like you used to. Oh, cheers. Well, I thought he might listen to you. Adam, man, come here. Your brother's worried about you and so am I. So listen up, okay? You pull yourself together, right? Ah, thanks for the words of wisdom, Grasshopper Ben. Now maybe one day, I too can wash many car. Sorry, Ben. No, look, it's okay. Your brother's dead, right? Because if you carry on behaving like an idiot, Adam, this is where you will end up. Are you sure it's okay to do this? Evie, you've got to stop thinking like one of them. Right. I've had an idea. Here we go. It's a good one. These trees are full of birds, right? So all we'll have to do is find a species that's protected and there won't be a lot to build anywhere near it. Nice one, Jamie. Plus, if any of these trees have got a preservation order on them, then... I don't think they do. Dad would have said. So we'll have to get one put on. But is there enough time? We need to know when those trees are coming down. Well, leave it to me. I'll see what I can find out. Put your hands up and step away from the vehicle. You all right? Sure. I haven't seen you for ages. What are you doing wrong to you? I'm off to the Grove for an interview. Youth leader. Well, assistant. What? I know. There's hope for us all, eh? No, it's just I was thinking about that kind of work for myself. How did you get pushed? So come with us? No, um, one of us must always stay on site to deal with um, customer inquiries. And they've got such a knack for things like that. I'll catch you later, eh? eh? Love you. kitchen. I thought we could split the rent even though my room is going to be a little bit smaller than yours. But, you know. Look, Matt, I need to know what's going on here. We're all still just mates, aren't we? Yeah, of course. You know, we're just, we're just sharing a flat, uh, doing the music, and like you say, we're not just playing at it, we're doing it properly. 24-7. I don't know. I mean, it's such a big decision, especially moving in with a lad. You want to get out of your parents' place, and I'm sick of being short with the rent, so, you know, it makes sense. I'll think about it, okay? All right. Can I fix you something to eat before you go? <laughs> no, you're all right. See what's on the menu. Oh. Right. Mm. Let's kick off. This band isn't about pretty people who can't write their own name, let alone a song. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. This band isn't about selling T-shirts or posters or packets of crisps. Cool. Yeah, cool. This band's not about love songs, ego trips, mega deals, award ceremonies. So what is this band about? Well, Sarah, you've got to help. Bradley. It's not my thing. If 
Russian sucks. 